were talking about the fix for my GMC Acadia and the air conditioning and heating problems. It is this filter that shows airflow indicator and the in-cabin air filter is inside the dash behind the glove box. And it's pretty quick to pull out and put back in once you remove the glove box. And that was the fix and the solution for my AC not blowing enough air and not cooling and heating the cabin. Place. So to remove the glove box, you reach in here and there's these tabs, and you turn them about a quarter turn either way, and then... So then once you turn it about a quarter turn, they just pull out, and they install such that the angled part and the big rubber section is in the front. And there's one on each side, and that allows the glove box to come down and you pull it out like that. So now, what we're trying to get to is the in-cabin air filter, which is right under here. Okay, so to get the in-cabin air filter out, you have to kind of mess with a little bit, but there's supposedly tabs on the top and the bottom, and they kind of just loosen a little bit. And then the tray slides out, and then there's right, your You filter. loosen those tabs, and you just slide this out. It's a little sticky. And then on the filter itself, you, it just sits in this little tray. And there's an airflow indicator that shows the airflow goes down. And then that just quickly clips right in there. And then to reinstall the glove box, is just the opposite. You put the box back up in the tabs and put the little tabs back on. Alright, so now we're wrapping up the in-cabin air filter change on my GMC Acadia. Let's put the, the glove box back in. Okay, that wraps it up. I just reinstalled the uh, glove box uh, by putting these two tabs back in. They seem to be keyed. You put them in and make sure the angled parts up front. So I hope this video helps you get your AC and heating working better on your GMC Acadia. Thank